Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a clean and organize with me of my refrigerator, taking everything out and reorganizing and I have these beautiful containers. So stay tuned for all of the organization. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, we're doing a clean and organize of my refrigerator today. If you guys are new here, my name is Morgan. I do lots of day in the life videos, cleaning videos, decor videos, organizational videos, and I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel. So let's hop on into it. That is, This is the before of my refrigerator. It was a hot mess and be forewarned, I have guests staying with me this week so I have a really full refrigerator a lot more food than I typically have and it is so gross so unorganized there's like gunk on the bottom of the drawers this was a serious deep clean of the fridge it was disgusting so if any of you can relate leave it in the comments below do your fridges just gunk up like this I swear I just cleaned out the fridge like back in January February and is all like gunked up and just gross again so I'm just going through all of my food in my fridge. I'm throwing away what is bad and what we don't need anymore. There was just an extra, like large amount of extra junk in the fridge that needed to be thrown away. It was either expired or just wasn't going to get eaten up. So I am going through that right now and then I will start to clean out the fridge. So today I am cleaning out my refrigerator with my Thieves blend. It is actually the Now Essential Oils version of Thieves Oil. It's called like Nature's Shield. I have, I'll have it linked down below for you guys, but I make my own cleaner with it and I use it for my countertops and it shines it up so well. And since it has like, like antimicrobial properties, like just gets rid of all the ick and the germs, I like to use it for the fridge as well and it makes it just smell super yummy. It kind of smells like a Christmas potpourri to me. Um, my blend is just with some hot water and white vinegar and it works super well. So that is what I'm using to clean out the fridge along with my European dish cloth from Grove Collaborative. I always have Grove Collaborative linked down below for you guys in the description box. If you are a new member to Grove Collaborative, you can sign up for the cleaning subscription box. You can like edit it, you can skip a month, you can really tailor it to your own needs and it's cheaper than Target. I think it's just like a great way to get your cleaning products delivered to your door, especially these days when maybe you're not wanting to go out to the store as often. Love Grove Collaborative and if you are a new member, you can get a free five piece Mrs. Myers cleaning set. And if you are already a member of Grove Collaborative, you can still use my link down below and get a free set of walnut scrubbers. That's what I use to do my dishes every single day. They're super awesome, love them, and they scrub my dishes nice and clean. Anyways, that is linked down below for you guys in the description box. So I am going through the fridge right now. I'm also using some paper towels just in the really gunky areas. I'm just really giving the fridge a good deep clean. Like I said, there was just so much extra gunk that had like fallen underneath the drawers. It was so gross, it was like sticky, and I have no idea what it was, but it was absolutely disgusting. Sorry, this is like super raw, vulnerable, and disgusting, but this is real life, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. 
getting all of that nasty gunk off uh, so that I can get all of the cute little clean organizing containers into the fridge. I like to start with a fresh clean slate um, when I'm organizing out the fridge. So I ended up taking out the main shelf in the fridge. I took that out and my mom helped me wash it in the sink because it was so gross. The glass like comes off. So I scrubbed down the glass and just kind of let that drip dry in the sink while I got the rest of the fridge clean. And now I'm trying to get the drawers back in place. I didn't realize that they like went in a certain way, but figured it out finally, got those drawers back in and cleaned them out thoroughly. Seriously, you guys, these were so gross. Once I was done cleaning out the drawers, then I was ready to start putting in the organizational containers that I got. I actually got these off of Amazon, like a four pack for $18. It was such a good deal. I was kind of hoping to get over to Home Goods and see what they had, but I know from going to Home Goods previously that the prices were pretty, pretty spot on um, on Amazon for what they cost at like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. But I ended up, like I said, I got these for $18 and they're really, really big containers. Um, I might add a couple of more um, specifically for applesauce. Uh, we have do like a lot of those go-go squeeze applesauces and go-go squeeze yogurts. Um, so those four containers, like I said, were $18. It was such a good deal. I uh, decided I was going to put the eggs in one of them. We get all of our eggs from somebody that my husband works with. He has a farm, so we get farm fresh eggs once a week and it's 
so yummy. I love farm fresh eggs. The yolks are just like so much, they're like a darker, deeper, like orangey gold color and they're just so much more yummy. Um, I also use this can organizer for um, like drinks in the fridge. We have guests coming over tonight for a little bit of a barbecue. We're doing actually a fish fry. It's going to be super fun. Anyway, I just wanted to get my drinks organized out into that instead of having like boxes of drinks in the fridge. And then I'm putting all of my like drinks, like my almond milk and my oat milk and my coffee creamer and my orange juice. Some of those larger items I'm sticking on the bottom. We did not have any fruit in the house, so I decided to use both of those drawers for vegetables um, on the bottom there. And then the other tray on the top, I did cooking supplies, so like Alfredo sauce and pizza sauce that were left over, along with chicken bouillon, and I think there's some jam in there as well, just things that I would generally use for cooking. And then this one on the bottom I did for kids' snacks. So I put all of the sugar-free jello in there, put a go-go squeeze in there. There was only one left. My kids have totally annihilated those this week. But like I said, I would like to get one more container specifically for the applesauce and the yogurt packets. But I just did like a kids snack container. Later on you'll see that I add cheese sticks into that little snack container as well. So it's just a quick grabbing area for the kids to to have easy access to their snacks. They can just hop in, grab what they want, and go. They're all in one spot for them. Um, then I'm just putting like the rest of the vegetables away. The bottom drawer I like to use for deli meat and cheeses. We have a lot of, lot of cheese <laughs> right now because we did homemade pizzas last night and we have a ton of leftover cheese. So I <laughs> filled this bottom drawer up with mostly cheese and just a couple of things of deli meat. But I'm sticking the rest of my vegetables in those drawers and finishing up my organization here. Um, I've got my mom's Diet Coke in here. I typically don't like Diet Coke, but when my mom's here, it just sounds so good. So I always <laughs> just steal some of her Diet Cokes when she's in town. But anyway, almost done with the organization here. If you guys have any tips or tricks for organization in your fridge, leave it in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys do to keep your fridges organized. And this is the final result, you guys. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Meal prep containers on top. The organizational container has made such a huge difference. I've got four of them. One has eggs, one has the kids' as snacks, one has cooking supplies, and the other has more snacks like yogurt and pickles, and I believe there's cottage cheese in there as well. Just really quick, easy grab areas in the fridge, and it looks so much nicer than it did before. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this deep clean and organize of the refrigerator with me. Again, if you have any tips or tricks for keeping your fridges organized, leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys on Monday for a day in the life video. Okay, bye you guys.